Kevin. You're on the Ken Coleman Show. Hey, Ken. I'm happy to be here talking to you. Good to talk to you, sir. What can I help you with? So, Ken, I currently work as a federal investigator. I make about $95,000 a year. I was offered a job uh, to teach half a day and then be the dean of students another half a day at a local high school for $58,000. I'd be the typical teacher's salary schedule at 182 days a year. Um, It's my dream job. Um, But um, I'm scared to take the pay cut, but I'm also wondering, if is it being too selfish for me wanting to chase my dream job Uh, because I have four kids and I feel like uh, that my current salary uh, is high. My current job is one of my dream jobs, but it's not at the top of the list. So I'm really struggling. Um, Am I being too selfish? Um, No, 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 no. Okay. First of all, you're not being selfish. You're not being selfish for desiring a future that moves your heart we got to stop making this stuff feel bad now i understand why you feel this way because you're a father a husband and and as a provider and this is a sizable cut okay this is almost a forty thousand dollar cut um so i think there's two piercing questions i need answers to number one can you adjust your lifestyle to where if you were to take the $58,000 Dean of Students teaching role, that you would actually not be struggling. If you made some changes, and what I mean by this is maybe smaller house, live in a different community. I I don't know. This is a sizable chunk here. But could you do it to where, A, your wife and kids weren't miserable and unhappy, and B, you weren't struggling? Absolutely. Yeah, we could, we could do it and we wouldn't have to change our lifestyle. Our house is already paid off. We could do it. You well now. All right, Kev, you would have to change your lifestyle. $40,000 cut. What would have to change? Okay. F- fair enough. We, we would just have to get back to living on a budget again and being strict. Um, Cause right now we're not. All right. But my point is being strict. Uh, are you and your wife up for that? Like, I mean, we had a candlelight dinner steak conversation, baby, if I do this, this is our budget reality. This is all the stuff we are doing. Now we're not going to do it. Have you had that conversation? We have. And? Yeah, and she's up, she's up for it. All right. Okay, that's the first one. So that makes this that makes this absolutely a viable option. Okay. Um, the second question is, could you stay in your federal investigative role making 95000 You said it's one of your dream jobs. It's just not top of the list. And could you add some elements of the dean of student and or teacher role to your life and fulfill that longing in your heart and not take a cut? Could you do some of that type of work on the side and fulfill that and not take a pay cut. Do you see how that could be possible? Yeah, Ken, I actually do that now. I mentor kids. I coach kids in sports. Um, But it's not enough. You're right. I don't think it's enough. Okay. Well, now I'm going to tell you something. Uh, There are a lot of people uh, that would probably disagree with my advice on this. But I, I think that it is... It is up to you to follow your heart. And I think if your wife is on board financially, maybe you take this and, and maybe you do some other things on the side to, to juice the 58000 So you take the teacher, dean of students role, and you look for some opportunities to make some money. I don't know if it's in the investigative world, so you kind of flip it, or you just do some other things, because I don't want to see you guys be so tight Um for you to do this. So I I think there's a happy medium, but I would say follow your heart on this because here's what I know. You can always get back into investigative work, true or false. True. Yeah. Listen, man, I think when you lay awake at night, you get alone by yourself and you, and you lay it all out there and you're really honest with yourself and you go, this is what it's going to do to our lifestyle. That means I can't send my kid to this. I mean, this has got to be a pretty painstaking process. 
to where you go, I know exactly what I'm choosing. And if I choose to take this education role and I take a $40,000 hit, we'll make the adjustments on our side, but I may need to be willing to have a side hustle or something else that makes this less painful and less tight for everybody. I, if, it, if it were me, that's what I would be thinking. I would take the education role based on what you've told me, but I would look to supplement the income so it's not as big a drop. How does that feel? That's that's a great idea and great plan. Yeah, because I think it's possible for you to move up financially in this role, yes or no? Yes. I Like, I don't know how much in Terre Haute, Indiana. I wouldn't imagine you're going to go much more than 58. But is that 65? It, is there a path to 70? I'm just curious. Uh, it, it's definitely to 65, 70. Um, of course, you know, in 10 years, it could be in the 80s. Exactly. But well, here's the deal. Here's one other last piece of information I want to give. You've probably heard us talk about it. We did at Ramsey Solutions the largest study ever on net worth billionaires, 10,000 plus. And the third largest group of net worth billionaires in the United States are teachers. So Kevin, you've already got a paid for house. Uh, my guess is you're doing pretty well in what you've saved. And uh, my friend, you're going to be a happy, fulfilled teacher, dean of student who has no house payment, who understands the principles to be a net worth millionaire. And, uh, and for that reason, I think this is absolutely a great decision. And I'm proud of you. And this is, listen, this is countercultural. But what you will make up for in your heart and a sense of meaning and purpose far outweighs the $40,000 cut. And most people won't tell you that, but that's the truth. And uh, we, and listen, in our current education world, we need men and women to step up and say, I'm going to step into a toxic environment and be a, a shining city on a hill. Kevin, I'm inspired. You inspire me. 